Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the playthrough. So we just finished saving the Peller's goat, and he gave us some clues on, I guess, how to begin looking for the Baron's daughter and wife. Um, lots to work on. There, we got quite a few quests I've picked up from notice boards, but we also have some things to do for main quests and contracts. Uh, not really sure what I'll work on this time. See, uh, level 8. It's a little too high. You know, I can't really work on contracts quite yet. Same sort of goes for secondary quests. There's a few things. Oh, weird. I thought I already did this. Odd. Uh, level 7, probably do. 6, I can probably do, but... Not really going to worry about it too much, I don't think. So, we're going to work on... What's this? Bah. Do it later. So far, so good. So, it really matters it's going to be. Part of it is to go to the beast tree. And take a look at... The thing I need to find. Cursed ones, I think it is. Yeah, botchlings. Here we go. Uh, saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it is a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a par partially decayed fetus their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. So vulnerabilities, um, that looks like Tawny and uh, telekinetic push. We'll look, make sure. So we read it, see what the quest updates with. So, just gotta talk to the Baron. Pretty certain there is a signpost very close. So, use that to get to Crow's Perch. Roach! Come here, boy! So for those watching, tuning in, I thank you for joining me. Uh, quite a ways in now. I'm really enjoying it myself. What do you guys think so far? Have you got the game yourself and you're just kind of checking things out? Or are you getting it later? Let me know what you think. So far, it's it's the game I've been waiting for. It's, it's fun, it's detailed, it's involved, there's a lot to do. Slow now. Lightning strike. Uh oh. Maybe we'll find some more clues uh, as to who took the Baron's wife and daughter. Don't call me dad. Someone ain't happy. Oswin! Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? 
Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can Let's do. Let's go. Hurry now, quick! Why is he beating on somebody? It's like rain. You! You! Where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right! The Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? <laughs> <laughs> they ran from you, didn't they? Lying sick! Baron fights pretty well for a big guy. Oh man, did that uh, that quest I was working on to save the guy in the stables? I wonder if me talking to the Baron right there made that go away. Ah, lame. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara, not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you were a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No, 
How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on blooded sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Hmm. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. 
The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. <laughs> 